Hello and welcome to MIP TV. I'm with me as ever is Bob Cook and uh, Bob is going to review some more books and he's got a really exciting book today, I have to say. And the first one is Explorations in Transactional Analysis, The Match Lake Papers. It sounds like it should be the title for a, a film, Bob. Never mind a book, but it's by William F. Cornell. Um, and um, as, again, he was quite a big person in the relational school, I believe, wasn't he? So what's this book about? Okay, this is, a, I think it's a seminal book because he's such a big figure in transaction analysis. He's been going for a long time. And this book is called the Meech Lake Papers, and it's called the Meech Lake Papers because, as he says in his introduction, um, that, oh, I don't know how long ago now, but a, a colleague in the transaction analysis movement phoned him up and said, uh, you do a lot of writing, you've done a lot of articles, have you put all these articles together? And he said, no, he, he hadn't. She said, well, come to my um, cottage, uh, and um, sit down for a week and put them all together and write any new material. Um, so he did do, and the um, cottage was um, the other side of a lake called Meech, M-E-E-C-H. So he called the, this process the Meech Lake. And, uh, you know, this is why it's called the Meech Lake Papers. And every year for the last, I don't know how many years, he goes to this cottage, the other side of Meech Lake, and writes all new, you know, all these new material, etc. So the book came out of this exploration into transaction analysis and all his articles over the last 30 years, which he put in his book. And Meech Lake's, I presume, in somewhere in America, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's in America, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure where, but it's in the USA because he's American. Yeah, Meech Lake Papers. So what is it that kind of attracts you to this particular book, Bob? Okay, so this spans his thinking developmentally. So in other words, when he started to be interested, you know, really interested in transaction analysis, was many, many years. I think it was the end of uh, 1969, and he's written many uh, wonderful articles over that time, and especially for the Transaction Analysis Journal, and he's responsible for such um, evolutionary thoughts in the idea of script, and that the script, for example, develops over time uh, from the beginning you're born to where we are now, and not just over the five or six years. Um, and he wrote a great article about that. And then he explores his thinking into some of his ideas on the Reader Season School, and of course his entry very much into the unconscious remit and the child ego state, and right up to date to his, um, his where he stands now, really which is in the relational school yes yes and we met him before haven't we william f cornell mm. or bill to his friends and i think <laughs> i think we talk about <laughs> yeah and i think i think we spoke about here i think we did a book review about the relational school yeah, and it might be right. it might be interesting just for, for the for those people who are viewing who may have just come across this video to to kind of just outline that there's different schools of ta isn't there and, and okay. yeah, and and Cornell would be the later school or the, the most up to date school. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, very quickly, he spans all these different schools, but where he resides now in a lot of his articles is the relational school, uh, 2008, Helena Hargadon. So, very, very quickly, Eric Byrne, 1961 to 1970, when he died, the classical school. Mm. That's strengthening up the adult ego state. Then we had a void and two other approaches vied for the, uh, you know, that whole position of leadership within transaction analysis because Eric Bernard died. Uh, and that was the Cathexic School, that's the parenting school, as I call it, by Jackie Schiff. And simultaneously at the same time, the Redecision School by Bob and Mary Gouldings, who talked about change really occurring in the child ego state. So then you had three approaches, um, really, that TA people could belong to or they could decide to affiliate to. Uh, you have the, obviously the classical school going along, that's Bern, or the Bernian school, you've got the Cathexa school, the new redecision school, and then in 88, another school started to also vie its head, 
and that's the integrative school, Richard Erskine, who's been writing for many years since the early 70s on integrative psychotherapy. That became an approach very much in the late 1980s, 1990s, with the birth of his conference and international organization. And then taking right up to date, we have the relational school, 2002, 2008 to 2017. So you've got different approaches and according to which type of TA you are, what type of transaction analysis appeals to you, you will mean that you flavour a, a particular style of transaction analysis. I think that's just so helpful, Bob, and thank you, because, thank you. Um, you know, the, I, think, I think for a lot of people, especially students, think TA is just kind of fixed in, in the Bernian school. And to mm -hmm. see that right. arc of development uh, since uh, Burns' death in, in 1970, he was on, it's amazing. He was only active for nine years, which is incredible, isn't it? It's a great testament to to him it, yeah. through a nine-year span. Um, to yeah. see that yeah. arc of development is is really really useful, and maybe we'll 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 explore those ideas in in a, in yeah. another podcast. So so this book um, written by William F. Cornell, what what is its what is the kind of USP, Bob? What is, why would people buy this book and, and why, is it, why would it be useful? You'd buy this book if you wanted to uh, really understand the arc of development in transaction analysis over time. Uh, this is a person who's lived these different approaches. He's been around in the um, development, the expansion of these different approaches and has written seminal articles across the arc of time and also, you'd buy it if you want to follow his, his latest things, things in T, you know, TA to relational TA. But really, most importantly, it sh it really shows and illustrates his thinking over the arc of time in transaction analysis. So it's perfect for students who want to compare and contrast the birth and the development and the evolution of transaction analysis. And for the lay reader, it shows a real in-depth model which has been evolved over the last 60 years. Yeah, and I think I think that's really interesting. He's almost like an arch archivist, isn't he? He, 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 would, he would talk mm -hmm. about the entire arc. So if someone was a student, they could buy this and it would reference all those different schools that you spoke of earlier. And, yes, and, certainly. Yes, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And certainly, would, would it, it, I think it's about 30, I don't know, I can't remember, I haven't counted them up. But probably 25 of his seminal articles over time, which shows his thinking and evolution theoretically, rather than the, perhaps the different schools, but certainly where he is now, which puts him in a relational school. Yeah. Well, I mean, it sounds like a brilliant book. As I said in the introduction, the title sounds like it should be a film, the the Mich <laughs> the Mich Lake Papers. It sound it sounds like a a nineteen seventies kind of conspiracy book, um, but it, it does. It, all joking apart, Bob, it does it does sound like a really must have book for anyone who, who who's interested in the history of TA, who's interested in its development, its arc of development from its beginnings with the Burning School, right up to the Relational School, and you talk about the R six School and the Redecision yeah. School, all that in between, and and as usual, That's Bob. Right. Yeah, and as usual, Bob. Uh, Bob, Bob's. This is not a paid placement. Bob is just doing this um, no. for his love of no. literature, aren't you, Bob? <laughs> That's why. Right. One final point. This book was written in two thousand and eight, just at the same time as that seminal book by Nina Hagen came out and Charlotte Sills, which was relational transaction analysis. So he doesn't cover two thousand and eight to two thousand and seventeen. So when it came out, it was right in the middle of the birth of the relational school. So this is a book of seminal articles about many theoretical perspectives, not just the relational school. He's gone on to write lots of articles 2008, 2017 about the relational school, but it, it, the, this book covers his seminal thinking in articles over a long period of time. Yeah, so it's almost like a book of essays. Almost. Correct. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful for students and me alike. I really enjoyed this book. It really gave me a sense of inspiration and belonging to a worldwide movement which has evolved and developed to such a wonderful degree.
Absolutely, Bob. Great. So what we'll do is, as usual, we'll put a link in the title below. Great. <clears throat> so anybody who's interested in that book can click on and go and have a look at it. And what we'll do is also ah. we'll put in the outro, we'll just put a picture and the name of the book so people can write that down. So as always, Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you.